Criminal law. Negligence. Negligence is the standard normally associated with civil law. It has a minor role in criminal law. Whilst it is sometimes referred to as part of mens rea, it is questionable as to whether negligence is correctly classified as such, since it is concerned with the conduct of the defendant rather than their state of mind. It applies to some driving offenses and gross negligence manslaughter. It is decided objectively and questions whether the defendant's conduct met the standard of a reasonable man. This was seen in McCrone v. Riding 1938 where a learner driver was liable for the offense of driving without due care and attention. He had to meet the standard of a reasonable qualified driver. No account could be taken of the fact that he was a learner. R. V. Adamarco 1994 is the leading case for gross negligence manslaughter. The appellant was an anesthetist in charge of a patient during an eye operation. During the operation an oxygen pipe became disconnected and the patient died. The appellant failed to notice or respond to obvious signs of disconnection. His conviction for gross negligence manslaughter was upheld. According to R. V. Adamarco, for gross negligence manslaughter, it must be established that the defendant, 1. owes a duty of care, 2. was in breach of that duty and, 3. the breach of duty caused death. In addition, the jury should be directed in accordance with the Adamarco test of whether the conduct of the defendant was so bad in all the circumstances as to amount in their judgment to a criminal act or omission. The earlier case of R. V. Bateman 1925, where a doctor's actions in assisting childbirth led to the death of the mother, made it clear that the civil standard of negligence is not enough. Lord Hewitt, the Lord Chief Justice stated, the negligence of the accused went beyond a mere matter of compensation between subjects and showed such disregard for the life and safety of others as to amount to a crime against the state and conduct deserving punishment. The Adamarco test has been criticized for its circularity, in that the jury are directed that it is a crime, if they think the conduct was so bad as to be a crime. Thus, it is essentially left to the jury to decide the level of criminality. This point was challenged in R. V. Misra and Srivastava, 2005, however, the Court of Appeal held that it was compatible with convention rights. A duty of care encompasses civil law concepts of reasonable foresight and a relationship of proximity. A duty of care may arise from a relationship such as doctors, surgeons and other medical professional with regards to their patients. This was seen in R. V. Bateman and R. V. Adamarco. It could also be parent and child. For example, in R. V. Gibbons and Proctor, the father was liable for the death of his seven-year-old daughter, who starved to death, as he had a duty to ensure she was fed. A duty may also arise in relation to an omission. For example, where there is a voluntary assumption of responsibility, as in R. V. Stone and Dobinson where the defendants agreed to look after his sister but then failed to do so. A further example of a duty arising from an omission is where the defendant creates a dangerous situation. This was seen in R. V. Khan and Khan, where the brothers supplied drugs to the victim and failed to summon help when she showed obvious signs of overdose. Imposing civil law concepts in criminal law can prove problematic. For example, it seems incongruous to talk of a drug dealer's duty to take care of their clients. In the case of R. V. Wacker, it was held that the civil law defense of ex terpi causa non orator actio, no action can be founded on an illegal act, had no application in criminal law. This would have precluded liability if the victim was committing a crime. In R. V. Wacker, the defendant attempted to raise the defense, as the 58 people who suffocated in his lorry were illegally entering the UK. The court denied the defense and upheld his conviction. In summary, Negligence liability in criminal law requires a duty of care and a breach of duty. Some civil law concepts are incorporated, but the standard of care in relation to the breach is much more fundamental. Some civil concepts are excluded. To amount to gross negligence, the defendant's action must be so bad as to amount to a crime. This video is part of a series of videos on law from www.elawresources.co.uk. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash at e-law resources. It's free to do so and will help us to keep providing these videos. Check out our website which provides lecture outlines and case summaries.
See also www.elawrevision.org.uk for revision games and quizzes. Thanks for watching.